Hello viewers, in this video we'll be going over WTI crude oil, ETF ticker symbol, USO. In this video we'll be going over day by day probability, how we find the models, and we'll go over the day by day forecast for WTI. So back to the technical analysis, today we are down 2.7% on the one hour chart. We are touching oversold RSI. We see a slight convergence, but we still have more room to head down lower. As for the four hour chart, we do see we are also oversold on the RSI as well. And if we expand out to the daily chart, we manage to break all support on the moving averages. On the bigger picture, one could say that we may make a reversal today. If we do make a reversal, it will be a higher low in this overall trend, so that is one to consider. And as for support, we do see a possible support around this range as well, which is around the price of $11.50, and there is a price concentration around that range as well, so keep that in mind. And there is a slight issue if we do head down lower, we do have a gap up between October 31st and November 1st, so we do have that gap that we may need to fill in if we were to head up higher for WTI, and that gap is around $11.40. So let's take out this support. This is our backup support. And if we were to remove or reverse this trend, we do see a possible resistance around, I would say, the 200-day moving average, which we failed to creep up above it yesterday. And the 200 day moving average is around $12. So that is our immediate resistance if we were to reverse. So if we were to move to that resistance level, it is around 3.8% to the upside. And to the next support level, it is around 1.5% to the downside. So back to the day by day probability model. So on here, we'll see where WTI crude oil will head to next coming days and as the day progresses we do see a slight favor to the downside especially on this standard deviation between 5 to 11 percent down we do have a 57 percent chance and a 14 percent chance between 0 to negative 5 percent on the other hand if to the upside we only have a 29 percent chance between 0 to 5% up. So as the day progresses, it's slightly in favor of WTI crude oil heading down lower. So let's head to the day-by-day -day forecast model. This model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend Right here we have the current trend and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to July 3rd to September 27th, 2012. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have in the current trend, we average above the middle Bollinger Band for several days. And then we see it break down, proceeded to dip below the bottom Bollinger Band right towards the end. So we start to see a similar pattern here in the trend in question as well. We see it average above the middle Bollinger Band for several weeks. And then we proceeded to break down, touch the bottom Bollinger Band. And where we are today, slightly below the bottom Bollinger Band. So that is what we see currently with today's price. So keep that in mind. So what we have is one, two, and we also have one, two points. And back to the forecast model. So the forecast dates that we just examined was 2012 to, I'd say, July 3rd to September 27th, 2012. 
back then, WTI crude oil was down roughly around 2.9-2.96%. So we may head down a little bit further. So 2.9% is around this call, this standard deviation. That's 14% chance between 0 to 5% down. So again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.